Another round of applause for Africa and Asia Pacific. And now, it's time to announce our first five semi-finalists. The very first contestant from Africa and Asia Pacific to move into the semi-finals is semi-finalist from Africa and Asia Pacific. Philippines. Yes, yes, I'm happy the Philippines loves me. Listen, you're a singer and a musician. If you were going to write a song about your experience here at Miss Universe, what would you call it? Well, you know what, Steve? As a Miss Philippines, I've always felt the love and the support of the Filipino people. And I think I brought half of my country here tonight. And so I would name the song Raise Your Flag because I stand here not as one, but as 104 million Filipinos. Thank you, Philippines. Venezuela. Still in the running is... Philippines. Once I started the music, it just was fulfilling in a way that everything else wasn't. My mom told me that even when I was in the womb, like I was dancing along to music. <laughs> I'm an only child, very, very close to my parents, especially my dad. He would always say the longest journey starts with a single step. When you have a dream or an ambition and it's so far away and it's so high up, you can feel overwhelmed. But when you look at it as just one step at a time, one day you're going to look up from your feet and you'll be at your destination. So that's a piece of advice from my dad that I feel I'm going to apply my whole life. <laughs> Philippines. In the stage, please welcome tonight's top ten, beginning with South Africa. All right, this is a wow, but I'm very nervous. This is a nail biter because it's a beautiful gown. Miss South Africa looks absolutely stunning, but she's having a hard time walking in this. You can see the issue she's having with her shoes and the hemline of that dress. It makes me very nervous, and it's affecting her presentation. From the moment she walked into rehearsals, we couldn't help but notice everything about her. She has a very strong presence and she can walk circles around most of the girls. Venezuela. Wow, this is a high impact nude illusion look. Very glamorous. Beautiful with her skin tone. A crowd favorite here. She's able to walk in this too with a nice sense of ease. Uh, and it's got that great silhouette. This is a really winning look for Miss Venezuela. Philippines has so much riding on this. And of course, a crowd favorite. Now that dress is quite daring and different. I love the color. I love her smile. She has a sultry, sultry walk. Costa Rica. Costa Rica giving this beautiful blue embellished gown with that uh, ostrich feather hemline. I'm not a huge fan of this dress. I don't love all of the leg that's 
showing, and um, it's, it's not one of my favorites. Also, that sleeve detail is a little distracting to me. Curacao. Incredible. What a dress, and it fits her to the T. I love the hair, the chignon, the, the earrings. Everything is perfect. She looks regal. She definitely looks like a standout. competition is really all about. Nepal. Was 
is not one of those the girls would have put to be here, but has not let me down. She has an intensity with her eyes. I love her flirt. She doesn't smile a lot. Let's see if she gives us some now. Good girl. Canada. favorite here in Thailand. You can hear the house going wild. She just has a great, easy kind of uh, relaxed kind of glamour about her, and it really works on the runway. Thailand! Okay, listen to the cheers. How can she not be energized by all this support? Come on! A serene beauty and extremely confident. So again, really beautiful, easy elegance, having a great time on the runway, really having fun with this moment and enjoying every step. question. Hundreds of journalists across the world were jailed this year for writing stories that were critical of their governments. Why is freedom of the press important? Cientos de periodistas fueron encarcelados este año por haber hecho reportajes que fueron críticos de sus gobiernos. ¿Por qué usted piensa que es tan importante tener la libertad en la prensa? La prensa está para informarnos. Eh, no te debe mantener al tanto de las cosas importantes que están pasando en el mundo. The press is there to inform us. Their job is to give us the news about what's happening in the world right now. Creo que ellos deben tener total libertad de publicar la realidad de lo que está pasando. They should have total freedom to be able to report exactly what's happening. Sin olvidar nunca que deben ser sensibles y deben tener empatía, porque hay muchas personas que están sufriendo por los problemas que hay en el mundo. Without forgetting that they have to have sympathy because there are a lot of people that are suffering different problems in the world. Capunca. Thank you, Puerto Rico. Vietnam. 
Vietnam, you're up. How are you? I'm very good and very happy. Thank you very much, Miss Universe. Well, here's your question. The Me Too movement has sparked a global conversation. In response, some have said that the world has become too politically correct. Do you think the Me Too movement has gone too far? Phong trào Me Too đã làm thế giới nói chuyện về nhiều. Em có nghĩ là phong trào Me Too có nói quá, quá không? À, bản thân em uh, không nói quá. Bởi vì khi mà bảo vệ sức khỏe con người hay bảo vệ làm dục tình dục, bảo vệ con người, bảo vệ phụ nữ, đó là một cái quyền rất lớn. She doesn't think that, I don't think that it has gone too far. Protecting women and women's right is the right thing to do. Con người chúng ta cần được bảo vệ và trong cuộc sống của chúng ta cần được tự do và cần được bảo vệ. Cảm ơn. I need, women need protection and rights. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Vietnam. Philippines, it's time. How are you? I'm good, Steve. I can't believe it's top five already. <laughs> well, it's here. Uh, here's your question. Canada recently joined Uruguay as the second nation in the world to make marijuana legal. What is your opinion on the legalization of marijuana? I'm for it being used in a medical use, but not so for recreational use. Because I think if people were to argue, what about alcohol and cigarettes? Well, everything is good, but in moderation. Thank you. Thank you, Philippines. South Africa, step right up. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Uh, many countries across the world are experiencing an increase in immigration. Do you think countries should limit the number of refugees allowed across their borders? I think that every country should have their own rules and regulations but for a thriving society and for all of us to stand together we have to understand that we are all human and we all are more alike than we are not so we should be open to loving each other accepting each other doesn't matter where we come from thank you South Africa Venezuela get ready How are you? Hi, I'm excited. Yes. Well, what would you say to someone who believes that pageants are archaic and against the feminist movement? ¿Qué le diría una persona que piensa que los certámenes de belleza son anticuados y que van en contra del movimiento feminista? Hoy en día estamos en una era en la cual hemos avanzado muchísimo. Nowadays we live in an era in which we have advanced greatly. Los certámenes de belleza no son solo de belleza, también son de sensibilidad, de responsabilidad y de corazón. Beauty pages are not just about beauty, they're about sensitivity and about having a heart. En ellas podemos mostrar que jóvenes como yo podemos lograr alcanzar todas las metas que nos propongamos en el mundo. In beauty pages, we can show that women like me can achieve any dreams that we may have in the world. Thank you, Venezuela. Just something about the way she moves I can't figure it out There's something about her Hey, say, ooh, there's something about the Kind of woman that wants you but don't need you Hey, I can't figure it out There's something about her I said, cause she won't like a boss I like a boss Manicure nicks, set the pedicure wrong She fly up with a little lead
for Miss Universe is Venezuela. Congratulations, Venezuela. Only two women remain. South Africa and Philippines, please come center stage. Both of you have worked so hard to get here, but only one of you is about to become our new Miss Universe. If for any reason the winner is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner up will take her place. Good luck to you both. The new Miss Universe is... Miss Universe!